U.S. deploy bomber in response to North Korean missile test. The U.S. has deployed supersonic, supersonic bombers and fighter jets in response to the recent increase in hostility and missile tests carried out by North Korea. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff showed the B-1B bombers conducting joint aerial drills with other South Korean and U.S. warplanes. So let's speak to retired Air Vice Marshal Sean Bell. He's here with us. He knows a bit about aerial drills, don't you? There are the planes. Those are the bombers, are they? Two B-1B bombers. Uh, on the right-hand side, there's the F-35s, uh, South Koreans, and on the uh, left wing, the ones closest to us, the F-16s, the Americans. It's worth providing a bit of context here, I think, um, um, for, for, for viewers. Korea was first um, uh, annexed by Japan in 1910 and in 1945, at the end of the Second World War, um, the former Soviet Union, America, cut it in two. It was administered to the north by former Soviet Union China, from the south by America and its allies, um, and became a bit of the front line in a Cold War. In 1950, um, the, the Soviet Union had been piling weapons into North Korea. They attacked South Korea. America stepped in to help and, and ensure the survival of South Korea. And at the end of that war, they agreed to step back to the original timelines. But the US has remained committed to South Korean security ever since. But in the years since, the decades since, North Korea has become increasingly isolated. The U.S. deployed supersonic bomber and fighter jet in response to recent missile tests carried out by North Korea. The B-1B bombers conduct joint aerial drill on Saturday with all the South Korean and U.S. war plans, according to South Korean Joint Chief of Staff. It said the drill demonstrate an ironclad U.S. security commitment to South Korea and the allies. Combined defense push tour. North Korea drew widespread international condemnation on Friday after a test run an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads and with a range that could reach anywhere on the US mainland. North Korean leader Kim Jong un watched the test with his daughter the first time she had been seen in public and boosted the ICBM was a reliable and maximum capacity weapon to contain U.S. military threat. State media photos shown Mr. Kim walking hand in hand with the daughter and together watching a shoot missile load on a launch truck. Friday's launch was part of the nurse ongoing barrack of missile tests that are seen as an attempt to expand its response arsenal. Some foreign experts said that Wang Song 17 missile is still under development, but is the nurse's longest range ballistic weapon designed to carry multiple nuclear warheads to defeat U.S. missile defense system. The North Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, said the missile fired from Pyongyang International Airport travel up to a maximum altitude of about 6,040 km or 3,750 miles and flew a distance of about 1,000 km or 620 miles before it land in international water of the country as coast. The test fire clearly proved the reliability of new major strategic weapon system to be representative of North Korea's strategic force and its powerful combat perform as the strongest strategy weapon in the world, KCNA said. Kim Jong-un solemnly declared that if the enemy continue to post threat 
to North Korea, frequently introducing nuclear strike mean our party and government will resolutely react to nook with nuclear weapon and to total confrontation with all our confrontation, KCNA said. Mr. Kim's statement suggests North Korea will continue its weapon testing activity as the U.S. continues to bolster its security commitment to its allies South Korea and Japan. They are concerned that in coming weakness, Korea could conduct its first nuclear test for five years.